In this issue of Tibet Update, we highlight recent developments in Tibet and in exile. While the developments in exile give us hope and joy, the news coming out of Tibet continues to be of concern. In October, the Tibetan democratic exercise was strengthened when the new Tibetan parliament met in Dharamsala and confirmed the nomination of three women members of the Tibetan cabinet the first time in history. Also in October, Tibetans and friends celebrated the 14th anniversary of the Congressional Gold Medal to His Holiness the Dalai Lama for his contribution to Tibet and the world at large. In this update, we include information on His Holiness's efforts to continue promoting compassion, education, and equality. Meanwhile, news from Tibet included in this update showed that the Chinese authorities continue to plan uh, its efforts at forceful control of the Tibetan people. In October, China appointed yet another Chinese as the head of the Tibet Autonomous Region's party, which is the most powerful position that oversees the Tibetan people. Also recently, the Chinese authorities responded to the United Nations on the cases of two Tibetan political prisoners, cases that ICT had also raised with the United Nations. While the immediate response is not positive, the fact that the, with uh, continued efforts, the Chinese authorities are forced to be accountable to the international community. So our work continues. In the coming days, ICT's interim vice president will be visiting Geneva. Then Chujatsala will be participating in the Geneva Forum on Tibet. I will be visiting Amsterdam uh, to participate in events uh, in the change of leadership at the ICT office in Europe. Our longtime executive director in the office there, Thirin Champala, is retiring and uh, Ongpo Tetongla will be taking over as the new head of ICT Europe. We congratulate Ongpo Lai and thank Thirin Champala for her service. I also take this opportunity to thank our members for your continued support in our effort to help the Tibetan people. Thank you very much. Tashi Dele.